Okay, today XR16 directly hardwired to the iPad. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, my router has only got one LAN port, and that one is this here, which is the two arrows. You see, two arrows that's the LAN port. So, to get more ports, I've got one of these, and um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug everything into that and everything should work. You'll also need one of these things, um, which is a, one of these camera um, adapters. Let's turn it around. USB and power. The other, the other thing to, to remember is this iPad, I don't know whether it's with everybody's, um, if I plug it in um, without the power, being supplied to the iPad. An error message comes up saying there's not enough juice in the iPad to run the connection. So you're gonna need one of these plugged in to the mains, okay? So we're gonna do that in just a tick. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I always use, on this, I always use port five, um, from the XR16 to port five. So I'm just gonna plug this in here, port five. There we go, we're plugged in. Okay, and the other end, we're gonna go into the Ethernet. Make, make sure you, you switch this across to Ethernet and plug that into there. Okay, now the next bit we want to do um, is we're going to plug in, when I find the lead, there it is there. Look. There it is there. We're going to plug the red lead into port two of this. Uh, I always do port one is the Apple router. Uh, I always do port five as we connection to the XR16. Port two uh, will be the connection to the iPad. So that's going to go in port two. There we go. Yeah, there we go, okay, and um, I'm not going to connect it yet, I'm now going to connect the router to the um, Apple LAN port at the back, which again, is the one with the two arrows. Okay, okay so now we can see we've connected black Ethernet cable here into port one. Okay, part two is the iPad, part five is XR16 on the white. So now we're just going to connect the iPad up um, with the red one. So I have to plug in this to the USB and then I'm going to have to plug the power in. Okay, so now I've plugged the Ethernet cable in, um, which is on one of these because you need to, you need that one, all right. We have said down there, USB 3, 2 gigabit Ethernet adapter. You can buy them all over the place, wherever you want to buy them from. They're not very expensive. It's just a USB to Ethernet cable. Ethernet's the red one coming out. USB is the one going into this camera adapter for an iPad. Now all I'm going to do, plug it into the iPad. Okay. One one of the things I would say just before you plug um, your cable into your iPad, turn off your Wi-Fi. Okay, turn it off. Otherwise, it won't connect. Okay, I've yeah, seen quite a few things on online saying, I, "Well, I've tried hard wiring it. I put it on, and then it just boots me off, and it won't connect." It won't connect. So turn the wi. If you're hard wiring something, whether it be your laptop, PC, or whatever. Turn the Wi-Fi off. Okay, right. Okay, so we're here. Uh, where are we? Let's launch this thing. Okay, I'll give it just a, just a minute because it probably come up and do a connect thing or whatever it does. But Ethernet lights are flashing away, and uh, usually with the iPad, um, it just connects straight away. Um, with a laptop PC, um, it will come up and it will say, 
um, basically connect you connect mixer to the laptop press that and cut it on another video I've done you can find that one anyway hard wiring uh, the laptop to the um, XR okay so just to test it see whether we're getting anything I just set this little iPod up and I just press it and it plays and um, it play music okay it's running and there we go and there she is all working all running we have the flashing lights blah 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 blah, blah. and that's it the iPad now is hardwired um, I would say you would do this um, if you're having a few mega problems in a venue uh, where the the Wi-Fi or people's smartphones nowadays are so strong um, they start interfering with your connection. I know you can sweep channels and things like that, but this for me is the safest thing, um, hardwiring it in. Uh, what I usually do, uh, and it's on another video, is I'll have the iPad on Wi-Fi to the router, off this router, and I'll have my uh, laptop, MacBook, just hardwired um, to the XR. So should my iPad fail, I've always got um the 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 you know the, if if I stutter any more it'd be funny wouldn't it? I've always got a backup uh, should the iPad fail and go straight onto the MacBook. Okay, so that was it. So um a couple of points to note make sure the Wi-Fi is turned off on the iPad before you connect, otherwise you just get conflict. Um I've got to use obviously this Netgear thing for some more ports. I usually go port one, which is my router, port two is my iPad uh, hardwired, port three on the white goes back to the XR. Make sure the Ethernet switch is over to Ethernet. Um, and that, that's about basically it. You need a few bits and pieces, as I say, camera adapter and one of these USB to Ethernet. Cables, short cables, which you can pick up anywhere, the peanuts. Okay, um, hope that's helped um, somebody, somewhere. And um, yeah. Um, okay, last but not least. Um, if you wanted to um, use, obviously, your iPad on Wi-Fi and then bring it back and hardwire it, okay? What I suggest is you just shut the app down, okay? Then unplug your connector. Go into your Wi-Fi settings, whatever your Wi-Fi network is and you want to attach your iPad to, select that. Come back and then reopen the app. Um, and then it will connect on Wi-Fi via your router. Then you go out the front of the house and do what you need to do uh, and then when you come back on stage um, which I do I play on stage and mix everything from stage um, you can then press your button take the app off go to your Wi-Fi turn your Wi-Fi off most important then uh, connect your camera lead back in and then reopen the app and the app will reconnect hardwired. Okay, uh, hope that helps you. I hope it helps somebody out there who's looking at how to do this. Um, and you can do this if you have a, if you have a router, right? Mine, mine's only got one LAN port in the back. But if you have a router with, with all the ports on the back, you just simply do exactly the same, but you plug everything into the back of your router. Um, in the ports, uh, all the LAN ports that you need. Just use the LAN ports. Usually routers have four LAN ports on the back. Just use the LAN ports. Uh, and it doesn't matter which ones you go into, um, they'll work on any, because they talk to each other. Okay, cheers again, if it helps. Brilliant. I'm hoping it does. Okay, thanks.